My name is David Thorson, and I'm a sailor from Iowa. My mother taught me to sail on a beautiful glacial lake called Lake Okaboji in Northwest Iowa. It was here that I met a Southern Minnesota hog farmer named Roger Swanson, and he gave me the pathway to the sea. You see, Roger sailed over 200,000 miles in his career, literally from one end of the earth to the other. Together we sailed to the Arctic's Northwest Passage in 1994, where we got trapped in the ice, stuck every which way you can, and finally had to retreat. In 2007, we returned, just 13 years later, and we sailed the entire length of the Northwest Passage, almost 7,000 miles, and never touched one piece of ice. I was an eyewitness and documented planetary changes to our Earth's systems and this profoundly impacted and changed my life. This little world of ours and this ocean in particular needs all the help it can get. I was fortunate enough to meet a fellow sailor, Mark Schrader, and fellow conservationist, David Rockefeller Jr. The American continents are really one island in one ocean, and that ocean is in trouble. They were the basis of a new team of sailors, scientists, and educators who would circumnavigate the North and South American continents, looking at the connectivity between our actions on the land affecting what's happening in the seas and oceans of the world. As a documentary photographer and videographer, my role on the vessel was to collect stories, to do interviews with scientists, Inuit hunters and fishermen, various folks living in certain environments throughout the world. It's been 25 years of my life, 65,000 miles of nautical sailing around the planet. I've taken over 100,000 photos and 600 pages of my journal entries and put it together in a new book called Over the Horizon. What I have to share with you is really more storytelling than science, but I think what you'll find in the book is that there's a strong argument there to be made that we're having a terrific impact on this planet and a new era involving the study and change of the Earth's environment is just beginning.